right um, we can just say command p to build our project just in case if there are any errors there uh, shouldn't be any and let's just dive straight into the project what we are going to do is to start with our login and registration screen so let me show you what we are building here this is my ready application this is our screen that we are going to build it's a simple login form we have an email and password in case the user has forgotten the password we will have the password here and also you can see this nice uh, this is the progress AGD that we are using it notifies the user and for the sign up you just click this it adds another layer here uh, with another field to repeat password and the button just changes to registration and back to login with a simple animation so we are going to do this and once we do the UI we will jump to the code and we will write what we need to do here so let's go to our application here by default we have this uh, view controller I'm going to close this and let's rename this view controller right click refactor rename I'm going to call this login view controller another option is just deleting this and creating a new one whatever you prefer and then let's go to our application storyboard here and right now it's empty let's just make sure that the class was changed after our rename so login view controller is the class that controls this view which is good and let's start from designing our UI so what we have here is a label then we have an email and look like we have a placeholder here and once I start typing I put the placeholder like on top this is just another label so the user knows what he's typing there the same thing goes with the password and the repeat password so we just show what field this is in case user doesn't know what this means after the typing right and and we need this button so the button is available as assets for to download for the project let's open the assets I will link the assets to this for uh, to this uh, lesson so you can download them and there are not much here we have our login button and the register button and some photo placeholder that we are going to use in case our uh, picture messages are still loading and one default avatar placeholder here so just drag and drop everything there and let's put this back so we have an avatar login button photo placeholder and register button right let's get back to our storyboard and I'm going to start from the top we are going to put the login label so let's get a label from here we can search for label or right. actually it's even the first item in the view so let's I uh, can either double click here and edit or you can open the side inspector here and you can put the text from here I'm going to change the let's actually first position this um, first thing I need to do is this view here this storyboard is currently iPhone 11 size I'm going to change this to iPhone 11 Pro it's a little bit smaller and the reason I'm doing it is I'm shooting the videos on my MacBook Pro 13 inch which is quite small screen so I have some place to work I suggest you do the same because I'm going to use some coordinates here to place and if you have a bigger size here in storyboard your uh, coordinates will be incorrect because I'm going to use them for iPhone 11 Pro screen which is 5.8 inches I think so the login screen is going to be let's put our measurements let's put this x15 and y274 I'm going to make this bigger because this is our title so let's go and change the font instead of system go to custom and I will put this anywhere and then I want to make this to 
35 points to make it nice and large and once you do that just command equals and this will change the size of the label so it's bigger I'm going to again open this all the way up so we can use our blue guidelines here and let's center the text after we do this we can add our auto layout constraints so we want 30 points from top and 16 on each side and let's keep the height to 48 click add four constraints and we have all nice blue guidelines it means our label knows where it's supposed to be on the runtime then we have a label a text field and a view which is just a simple line so let's create that I'm going to create another label just drag and drop one out and this label we are going to again use the same font that we are used for the title uh, in general I'm going to stick to this font so our application looks same uh, it's anywhere and this one I'm going to set to 20 points and let's make it bigger All right we use again blue guidelines but I'm going to change the color from default to let's put some kind of light gray maybe yeah and then we are going to put this is our email All right and I'm going to get a label, uh, not label, a text field now. We're going to place underneath. And let's enlarge this. And we're going to put a placeholder here. And in my case, this is the email for this one. So placeholder email. And also, I want to get rid of these borders so as you can see here we have no borders for our text field it's just the placeholder tells us there is something there so let's do the same here you choose it and then for border style you just put these dots and it removes your text uh, borders and finally I need a view this is hard to search because almost everything includes view in the name this is just a white view here not a view controller just a view that we are looking for and once you put it there just quickly change the color to something that you can see and work with I'm going to put mine as let's let's put this as system gray system system gray color and first I'm going to place this properly and then we are going to change the height because if I change the height now it will be very hard for me to pick it up and move it around um, then let's change the height to two points I guess yes so our height is going to be two points so we have a nice line here right now we have these three views a label a text field and the view which is our line so we need three set of these one for email one for password and one for repeat password so let's select all three of them I'm going to copy command C and then we just paste them here underneath let's move them up a little bit and paste one more time and this one goes underneath here so let's change this is going to be our password and the placeholder here password and while we are here the password what we want to do is to enable the secure text entry tick here so when you, our user types is going to be replaced with just a black uh, circles instead of the text then we have our repeat password and same goes for the placeholder alright 
and what I want to do is in order for us to make our life easier with this animation I'm going to put everything into a stock view so let's select everything apart from our login and we're going to come here at the bottom and say embed in and we want it to be a stack view by adding this it will create a stack view for you and you can see our label our view here got really big so what I want to do is select all three of them and we're going to change the height again to two points and let's set auto layout for the view height to be two points and this will bring everything back to normal and another thing you can do is to change the size this place in between so if you want some spacing more or less you can play with the spacing here uh, I think I'm going to stick with something like 8 or 9 should be good yeah so that our user has some place to put his fingers and now we can select our stack view and we are going to add auto layout constraints for our stack view so it's going to be 16 on each side and on the top I want to give 10 points from our label so let's do that and now we have our login area so what we are missing is this forgot password button and apart from this there will be another button on the right side it's gonna be resend email and this button will be used when our user logs in of uh, actually registers we are going to send him a email verification to the email address provided so we make sure the email address exists and it belongs to our user so once the email is verified then our user can log in otherwise we can just click on a button to resend the verification email so let's uh, get back to our view here quickly create another few buttons on I'm these are outside our stack view is one is gonna be forgot password question mark and let's change the text to be this system gray or maybe a dark gray let's try the dark gray yeah dark gray looks good command C command V I'm going to place this on the right side and this one is gonna be resend email all right uh, what we will need to do here by default the, the text in a button is in the center I want to do it on the right side here and on the left side for this button and let's just enlarge this so we can use our auto layout constraints um, I'm going to select both of them let's put 20 points from top hit enter and now we can say that this one is should be 16 on the left on the right side and let's put 30 points from this view I can keep the height 30 and for the forgot password just enlarge it back and we say again we want this to be 16 on a side and we keep the height to be 30 points so let's see this one we enlarge this one a little bit more I'm going to keep this one fixed width so let's put it something like 120 and now we have both buttons set where they are supposed to be and the last thing we need is another button this one is gonna be in the center uh, it will have no title so let's remove it instead it will have an image which is 
login button and once you put the image the pattern automatically resizes to be the size of your image and all we need to do is to add some uh, constraints here what I'm going to do is make it center horiz uh, horizontally in my view so you can see now it will be in the view horizontally and then we want to put some uh, space in between the two buttons so let's make it like 20 points from the top right so we have all blue guidelines so it knows where it's supposed to be on the runtime now this is so far our view let's do just the last part at the bottom so we don't have to come back here this uh, error to one label and a button so let's get a label actually the button is selected just drag one out and then a label the label says have an account then log in for the first or don't have an account and sign up so by the first thing is going to be this so this is what I'm going to put it so don't have an account all right and our button got lost a little bit let's put next to it I'm going to change the font to our font and then the size to make it a little bit smaller so let's go to our Anivere font here and make it 16 points and the button I'm going to put sign up just hit enter and what we want to do that these two buttons will be uh, two views will be very close to each other and always in the middle so again we are going to embed this into a stack view and this uh, Xcode by default knows that once our views are next to each other it's going to create a vertical or horizontal stack depending how we have here it automatically created a vertical and the second one is horizontal so you can uh, select a button here and I'm going to choose this text to be on the left side of the button and then choose the stack view and I'm going to change the spacing currently we have 25 let's put something like 10 and see how it looks yeah 10 is good and select the stack view again let's add constraints from the bottom is going to be zero and let's do the zero and then we will set this to be in the middle of our view so it's always in the middle and this will depending on our input is going to change dynamically